Okay, in this uh, quick tip we're going to be looking at a double leg off of the cage now. Uh, often when we're going for double legs, the proficiency of the technique <clears throat> is uh, all important to us and we want to get that cleanest, most perfect double leg that we can. But in this instance actually it's going to be uh, quite route one, quite a quick snatch at the legs and um, there's not going to be a huge amount of uh, technical work going on with the actual double leg itself. That's why it's a quick tip, it's more of a tactical piece here where we're going to be switching this person's focus from the clinch game and the grappling game and him thinking about the takedowns up to striking at head level. So I'm in on the cage with uh, Millsy here and we're tied up in front body clinch for example from this position, trying to keep tight control on him. In these kinds of positions, if we hang around here for any period of time, he's quite quickly going to be trying to establish a really nice base. So he's going to be splitting his stance from here keeping this all nice and wide, making it difficult for me to get his legs together and get them in a strong double leg position. So if he manages to split his stance like this, then me getting a straight, quick snatch at a double leg is pretty tough from here because of the, um, the strength in the stance itself and the distance between the knees. Much better for me if he's got a weaker stance and his legs are close together. This can be, uh, timing wise, can be that you snatch for this straight away off the wall, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. What we need to do is get this person focused away from um, the placement of their legs. So in this instance, I'm gonna have Millsy pressed up against the wall, and he might start to split his stance from here and start to think about his base, and I'm just gonna take his mind off of this little tactic. So I'm going to disengage for a split second, and bang, immediately start to strike. So I'm really gonna go quite aggressive here, very close range, Keep the pressure on him, try and keep him on the wall for a split second. Now we're not going to have long before he starts, if he's smart, moving off to one side or the other. So we need to get this done pretty rapid. We need to get quick focus, upstairs one or two seconds, and then very fast snatch downstairs from here. We could conceivably commit right down on this and hit a fully committed uh, double leg position. The speed is really of the essence from here, so we can go fast at this. We're going to change level, keep the posture good, but we're going to hit it as quickly as we can. Now, depending on how skinny this person's stance is at the time and depending on the placement of our legs, we may or may not be able to bring his legs right together in between parts. Ideally, that's what we'd like to do. So, absolutely perfect for me would be to get him up on the cage, get him to a position where his legs are slightly weak and I'm managing to get in this instance, my right leg down the outside from here. If I can get this position here, he's going to know that's pretty bad for him and he's going to want to start to um, uh, re-engage his legs in the right way. But before he does that, I'm going to disengage and give him something else to think about. And from here, as this right leg is still on the outside, I should be able to snatch these legs together quickly and pull them straight between my hip here. Get these legs together and pull him straight off the wall. Make sure you've got good posture all the way through it, but emphasis on being fairly dynamic rather than very technical with the double knee. Quick pass of those legs, make sure we've got good ground position, carry on with the rest of it from there. Let's have another look. So, in against the cage, this doesn't just have to be from a full body clinch, it could be from an open shoulder clinch. In this case, we're just going to have a look at it from fully tied up, so we've got maximum pressure. So, tied up fully against the wall from here. I want to get him into a position where I'm outside of this leg if possible. I'm going to have a look at it without that in a second. I'm going to get him to focus upstairs before he worries too much about his legs being incorrect. So back, disengage. Get him to lift his hands. Keep the level change and the posture good. Hit this position. Try and force his legs together and snatch them off the wall. Pass as quick as you can from that point there. Let's noise in one more time. This time just with my legs caught on the inside. I'm not always going to be able to get my legs to the outside from here. If this person's keeping a decent stance and they're starting to split on their stance, it's still worth looking at this quick uh, tactical piece. So from here again, full body clinch, this time my legs on the inside, 
because he's doing a good job splitting his stance. Starts to split his stance even more, more technically correct. I've still got a chance of this working. Just split it that way for me. As he's starting to split his stance here, I'm still going to take a shot at this. So disengage, bang, bang, bang. Get him to focus up here. Now, if he doesn't correct his feet, see how wide they are at the moment. If he doesn't correct his feet and he just stays there, I'm just going to keep unloading. Bang. So he's going to have to start tidying up his feet in order to get himself back to a uh, decent chance of exchanging with me in the striking game. So for here I just need to take a fraction longer and make him shift his feet back to a good striking position. <clears throat> so he was splitting his stance. I come off the wall, I start striking, just wait for him to re-engage his feet, and then I hit. Second deal from here. Now here, it doesn't matter whether my legs are on the inside or the outside, it's fine. I can sort this out later as I go down. It could be that this leg is completely caught on the inside and the speed and the dynamics is what will still make this successful. So one more time on that one. Pummeled <coughs> into the wall uh, with your front body clinch. Millsy starts splitting the stance. I'm not going to get a really easy double leg from this position. So I'm just going to have my leg back on the inside for pressure. Disengage, strike quick. When he starts to recover his feet positions, hits him from here. In this instance, my leg's going down the middle, I don't really have to worry too much. Good posture, good head position. Put him off the wall, the same. And again, if these legs aren't in ideal position, just sort them out as you go. So it's the tactic of making the person switch focus from the base and the grapple up to the strikes, which is going to make this successful. Thanks, Josie.